What's going on guys, Dan Watson, and today is pretty cool because the new Luminar 4 just became official. Now I have been using it myself, so if you go check out my Instagram page, say hi to me there, you'll see that a lot of the recent images I've been posting have actually been using this software, and I wanna show you why. Now you can download it yourself starting today, so check out the description because I have a $10 off coupon code as well as a seven day free trial, but this software will basically allow you to do like sky replacements in seconds, skin softening, enhancing, texture and detail, all of this in seconds, it's AI based, it's masking, it is really cool what this software can do. So I've got a bunch of images lined up and we'll take a look and see how I use these in my own images. All right, so let's pop in here and I wanna show you my first image and we'll take a look at this right here. Now I have a really cool sunset on this. So normally I wouldn't use it, but I'll just show you that really quick we can pop into this sky replacement and do something really cool. So you can pick from any of these skies or load your own. I'm gonna pick something just kind of out of the ordinary right here. And here is a completely different look to this image. So you can see how quickly you can put in some crazy levels of skies. And what's unbelievable about this is I can choose to warm or cool this sky down a little bit to better match. I can relight my scene based on this sky to kind of get those colors looking very consistent. Uh, you can defocus that sky if you need to. So if you were shooting at 1.4 or something and you have a sky that is blurred out, don't worry, we can do that, we can fix that, we can blur it out. In my case, I don't need that, but you can see how really quickly we can do some cool stuff to there. Also, I'll hop into uh, some of this AI enhancement right here. You can see this is kind of the before of this photo, AI enhanced. Uh, I can enhance the skies if I didn't replace it. So let's pop into another image. Now, this one also doesn't have a sky, but this is a very tricky one because my sky is completely overcast, but I have the same exposure and detail on this waterfall. So it's gonna be very difficult for this to work, but I'll show you how we can so quickly do even a custom mask on this. And so let's pop on here. We're gonna select a sky, we'll do dramatic sunset. And just like that, we have a really cool sky. Again, I might warm this up just a little bit to make it pop, but some really cool options on the sky. However, you will see that I have a lot of sky in my waterfall and I don't want that. So here's what we do. We can edit that mask and brush in the areas that we want to. Now, let's turn my opacity up on that brush. Here is the cool thing. The masking is all done for you, so I don't have to be careful at all when I'm brushing in the sky. It is done. If I wanna paint in here, it's not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna have to worry about it putting sky in there because it's all AI based. So just like that, I have a really cool edit. Um, all of my sky is in there. I don't have to worry about anything. So here's kind of the before and after. Uh, let's go ahead and show you that sunset turn off and on and you can see some really cool options on that. Now, let's take this to the next level because right down here I have one of my favorite tools and that's this sunset. We're gonna place a sun right in here because now we have this really cool sunsetty background and no sun. So let's add it in there and we are just going to increase that sun and look at that, that's amazing. Now this is all, again, AI based so you can see those rays kind of cutting around that cliff edge, which is so cool and natural. Now I can increase the warmth of this sun to kind of match that background a little bit. Sun ray warmth, that's good. We can change the penetration, see how much impact we have on that, make it a little bit longer on those sun rays. And that is so cool before, after, before, after. Really cool changes that we can make in just seconds to this landscape image. So now let's uh, show off something called AI structure because that is really cool. Here is a portrait where I want to increase the detail, but I don't want any of his skin tones or his skin to be affected by it. Usually this would mean having to mask or brush in the area of detail. If we just pumped contrast and texture, that would not work because he would look horrible. So let's go ahead and pop into this AI structure and you can see here is the image right here. I can actually boost this. I'll do it like crazy because you can see it a little bit more in YouTube, which is gonna compress the crap out of this. So here it is completely boosted. Let's zoom in so you can see his skin tones. And here is a before after 
and you can see that I am not touching any of his skin and I am able to boost these details really quickly in just seconds. Now, what if we wanna do a little bit more advanced skin retouching? So here is this image, which was taken in New York with the A7R 3 and the Sony 135. And what we will do is pump in some of this skin enhancement. So I'll, I'll go a little overkill because I don't know how this is going to compress things on YouTube. So here it is already. You can see the big difference before, after, and it is making a huge difference in enhancing that skin. But that's kind of like the first step right there. We can also just kind of lighten up the face a little bit more. And we just want to go a little gradual, but you can see if I do a before and after, you'll see a little bit of pop. I'll go a little bit more on that. And then we can do um, eye whitening, which is really cool. So all of the whites in our eyes are going to get a little bit better, get the detail going in those eyes, make them really pop. And then uh, she doesn't have any dark circles, but you have that. They do have some like slimming face tools, which I normally would not use, but I'll show you kind of how that works. We can actually enlarge the eyes as well. So some really cool features on that. Again, nothing overkill. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've gone through before, after. Really big differences right there. Um, this, man, my wife is gonna use this tool unbelievably. This is a really cool tool. Darkens those eyebrows, it makes them look really nice. This is an amazing tool right here. I know she is gonna love that thing and use it all the time. We can also do some lip saturation, uh, increase the redness, darken them a little bit, teeth whitening, you can do that as well. So again, now we'll go for a before and after, and you can see that made a huge difference. Now let's go to that AI structure again here. I, another time that I normally would not use structure because it would be incredibly difficult. I have to mask out her face a little bit but let's just pump this thing and you can see that I don't have to worry. It's not gonna touch her face at all. All I did is boost those background areas and her face is completely normal. So we'll show you again this before, after, and you can see that that AI structure did an amazing job in keeping that looking really nice. So here's my photo before and after, before, after and those tools made a massive difference on editing a portrait in like a minute. Now what I want you guys to do is if you download this and start editing your images, uh, post them to your stories and tag me in them so I can see them. And then also I'll try and do a shout out on Instagram to some of my favorite edits on this. I'm really curious to see what you guys do using that AI structure, sky replacement, some skin editing, some really cool stuff out there. So do that and then feel free to check out those links, download this with that $10 discount. Um, I got weekly videos, so please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, Turn on notifications because I have a video that is so cool from Iceland coming out in like two days. So make sure you have that notification on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you real soon.